Wow, I can't believe it. We in the end of this tutorial series where we looked at USD. And for our final lesson, we are going to take a look at a different package and how we can use USD that was created in Maya in a different package. In this case, it's going to be Houdini. So here we are in Maya and you could see that I, I've built my USD file. And now I'm going to jump into Houdini and I'm going to show you the setup that I have here. I'm in the Solaris uh, environment. Um, so I'm going to just talk about our setup that we have here. Usually if I'm doing CFX, I'm going to get an Alembic from let's say animation and uh, that has animation and everything on it. I'm going to take those Alembics. I'm going to break out the stuff I need, build a SIM rig and then cash out. And in this case, I just want to update the USD so it can go on to lighting and rendering. So here's just the setup I have in this case. I have here in the geometry uh, workspace, we are going to go into um, my setup. So I got my um, ABC or limbic cache coming in, which is just the flag. Actually, it's more than the flag, but you know, we've got the ABC, which is the entire thing. And then I'm unpacking it. And then from the unpack, I'm converting it. And then I'm blasting out the pieces I want. Because this is an ABC, and ABCs are a little slow uh, compared to other formats. Um, if I'm going to work on a heavy scene that has, uh, let's say I also have um, guide curves that I want to sim and so on. Uh, it's probably a BGEO file. So to do that is fairly simple. What you want to do is just create a file node and then leave, switch it from automatic or read file to uh, write file. And then you just navigate to where you want to and name it the way you want. So I have that and I have flag geo uh, or one here. Uh, and then for the polls, just an out now that I have. Let's jump into our sim setup. So in the sim setup, basically it's just a very simple setup that I have here, but I'll create another file node, this time have it to set to the read and then just navigate it to where I want to go. So if we look here at this file, you see it's going, it's just set to read, it's reading in the file and then I created a, a vellum cloth, vellum constraint, um, and then we have um, a vellum uh, solver, and I'm just calculating um, what I need to calculate. I couldn't even cache this out, which I didn't, but I should. All right, a couple of things before um, to finish up the preparation, then we'll move on to how to load in a uh, USD and how to merge this all together, like the, your final result into the USD. All right, so here we go. It's playing back. And it's playing back and we can't see it because we're not on the solver. But there we go. Doop, doop, doop. All right, so um, two things I have. If we look at um, the geo that's coming out from the, from the vellum, you see we have a lot of um, parameters here that we need to remove or clean out. It's just a, a good practice anyway to do, just so you don't get a lot of data, unnecessary data going down the pipe. So I'm just using a clean node and I'm removing everything but what I need. And in this case, it's just the UVs. Uh, and then the very, very important bit, which is this node, which is a name node which down here I'm going to name the nodes the same name of the of, of the shape node that will come in with USD. Let's have a look at the USD now. I'm just going to minimize that. So to get a USD into the scene, what we need to do is add a file node. Uh, so this is in the Solaris environment, and I'm just importing a file. So this is going to be a USD file. And I'm going to just turn, choose the first option that's highlighted. And that's going to do that. And then all I need to do is upload 
the USD. So let me just take this off screen for a second, just so I can get to my destination. There we go. So here in my destination, I want to choose the USD file. So I'm going to go to scene, sequence, shot, and just grab the first layer that we have and load it up. And you can see it loads everything up. And I can see that the file that I have here is the file that I want to replace. So if I now turn this on, you could see that I get the USD with everything in it. Um, you can switch between the render and the preview. And then like, for example, I have the rope here so you could see the rope. And you can do that just by going to the glasses. And I could turn that on and off as I wish. All right, so how do I get a simulation that I made back in here? So it's, it's fairly simple. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a SOP import. So SOP uh, import. And what I want to do with the SOP import is just import the file that I need. In this case, it's going to be the out sim. So accept. And if I press on that, you can see that I get this here. Now, if you look at my hierarchy that I'm getting, you could see that I have the output cloth here. All right, that's pretty cool, but that's not what I need. I want to switch that over. I'm also saying that it's, it's waiting for me to save, but we'll, we'll hold up on that. So um, I'm just going to plug the top level in. And then you're going to see that down here I have under, it's created a new scope for me um, down here where I could see the cloth geo, which has got the same name as this one, but I want to switch between the two. So to do that, if we look over here, it says import path here. All I need to do is left click and drag that in there and it's going to switch them over immediately. And you can see that now um, it's, it's worked as intended. So now I have my simulation right there. And that's very cool. Now, if you want to send this back to Maya, what you'll need is a, is a USD, USD uh, ROP. And I don't think this is going to let me do anything. Um, so output file, USD, I could choose where I wanted to go. So in this case, I'm just going to call this uh, and accept. And then I can just do that. And it's going to tell me I can't because I don't have a version that will let me write anything out of uh, Houdini. But I can use anything Solaris in here. So I could actually work on the shader and lighting and do everything that I wanted to do. Um, just as though if I was in any other software. So that's it in a nutshell, really in a nutshell. But uh, I hope this is going to be helpful for you. It's a really simple setup. Anyway, I'm just going to say thank you for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. It was a pleasure teaching you all everything I learned about USD. Uh, it's really powerful. I do recommend it. Uh, there are a couple of features that I did not talk about uh, just because I'm still learning them. Uh, I'll probably post a video, a follow up video in the future on those features. But for now, I hope this has been helpful uh, getting you started uh, using USD. Thank you and goodbye.